Hi, I'm Chev Hutchings, and this is how to set up an electric drum kit or a MIDI keypad in BandLab. First, we need to add a virtual instrument track. So click on Add Track. Then click on Virtual Instruments. Now click on the drop list that currently says Studio Grand. Then in the browser window, click on Drum Kits. And then click on a drum kit. And here I'm going to click on Classic Rock. Then I just need to click anywhere outside the browser window to close the browser window. Now the next thing we need to do is check the MIDI input. So click on the three dots. And to the right of where it says MIDI device should be the name of your electric drum kit or in my case my MIDI keyboard that's got my MIDI key pads on it, but it's not selected at the moment, so I'm going to click on the down arrow and select it from the list. And now if I click on the three dots again to the right of MIDI device, it now says Vortex Wireless 2, which is the MIDI controller that I'm using that's got my MIDI keypads on it. If I press on my pads now, or you play your electric drum kit, you may find that it's triggering the wrong drum pads in BandLab, or it's not triggering any pads at all. So next we're going to click on the three lines. Click on View, and then click on MIDI Mappings. Now the drum pads in BandLab, now at the bottom of the screen, have gone this pinky colour, which means MIDI Learn is now switched on. So now you can click on one of the pads, and I'm going to click on the kick drum pad. And once you've clicked on the pad, you'll see that there's just this very light red outline around the pad to show that it's been selected. And now I'm going to press on a pad on my MIDI keypads. Or if you're using an electric drum kit, you can press the pedal and hit the kick pad. And now you can see in the top right corner of the drum pad in BandLab, it's added the keynote that is now associated with that pad. And on the right side of the screen, there's this MIDI mappings list. And you'll see that there is this MIDI mapping that's been added now. And next I'm going to click on the snare. And then here I'm going to press on a pad and on your electric drum kit, this is where you would hit the snare pad. And you'll see that it's added a second mapping to the map list. Now, if you've accidentally pressed the wrong pad or you decide to change which pad, then you can click on the delete icon and delete the mapping. And here you'll see that on my snare pad in BandLab, in the top right hand corner, the note number has now been removed. So if I press on my pad again, that note number has been added again, and the MIDI mapping has returned to the MIDI mappings list. And so I'm now I'm just going to add some hi-hats. This one here is the closed hi-hat. This one here is the pedal. 
and this one here is the open hi-hat so I'm going to click on the closed hi-hat and click on a pad and do the same with the open hi-hat so I'm going to click on the open hi-hat and then click on a pad so now I've got the kick drum the snare open and closed hi-hats and you can go through and do the same with all the other drum pads in BandLab. And you might notice here that there are two small toms, two medium toms, and two floor tom pads. But you only need to press on one of them to set up your electric drum kit. You don't need both of them. And indeed, you don't need to set up any of them if you don't want to. Now, once you've finished pairing the drum pads in BandLab with your electric drum kit, or with some MIDI keypads. Click on the three lines again. Then click on View. And click on MIDI Mappings. Now the drum pads in BandLab have returned to being white. And now you can play these drum pads on your electric drum kit, or in my case, on MIDI keypads. Now these mappings are auto saved, so you will only need to do this once. So now, every time you open a project, your electric drum kit or your MIDI keypads will already be set up. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.